wake up. Wake up. Irene, wake up. Better hurry, it's past nine. But it was after twelve when I went to bed. When I'm with you, time stands still. It's true. Hey, where's the chat? What the heck happened here? Hold on one second. We have to fix this. If uh, you want to see what the heck's going on, go to twitch.tv slash nickthrat. The chat is gone. I, I made it come back. The chat is back on Nick the Rat. Doo-doo. cbd ba 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 Doo-doo. All right, cool. Now that that has wasted everybody's time, it is 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Actually, it's 11.09. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. On January 24th, 2024. This is Nick the Rat Radio. Scooby-dee-doo. Scooby-dee-doo-doo. Scooby-dee-doo-doo. Oh, I should put this other thing over here, too. Man, there's just so much stuff. So much stuff. Going on that... Um stuff happens um the noise is still there people i don't know if you remember me complaining about this uh generator humming noise i was coming from outside of the sewer it's still there i think i haven't got more than uh, uh one good night of sleep in the past week or two I filed a noise complaint to a website from the government, so I'll probably never hear anything about it. Um, <clears throat> so right now, I'm going to chug this here. Um, I got this, uh, what is this, Starbucks bullshit? Not from Starbucks bullshit. Iced Starbucks in a bottle. This is about $500 for this thing. Ugh. Hopefully this garbage sugary nastiness that came from a toilet bowl will wake me up a little bit. I can't open it, guys. I can't open it. There we go. Ugh. Now let's, let's do a little... Wait, what if I put the microphone in my throat while I chug this tasty sludge? Let's see if I can do this. Hold on. I don't know if you heard that. I couldn't hear it in my microphone, in my headphones. But yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna drink this here sludge from shit bucks. And uh <coughs> hopefully it wakes me up a little bit. And then I'll start chugging beers and smoking weed and all that good stuff. But anyway. Uh, tonight. I figured, since I haven't been getting any sleep, and I don't know what's real anymore, because sometimes while I'm sleeping, I have, like, I like, do you know when you have the dream where you go to work and you wake up and then you have to go to work? Well, every time that I think I'm asleep, I have dreams where I'm not asleep, so it's been making me go, wah wah wooey, but um, figured shadow people. We haven't we haven't discussed shadow people in a long time. I'm sure in the past year or two, a lot of you out there have had shadow people shenanigans happening, right? So if you're out there and you have a story, you could either email me at nick at nicktherat.com. Just put a in the subject title, write shadow people story or wake up or just Draw a penis. Whatever you want to do. Just put it in there. Send it out to me. Okay? Be reading those on air. Or, if you have a shadow person story, you could call me at 917-719-5923. You could either leave a message, or I'll pick up and uh, talk to you live. 
and talk to you about your shadow your shadow people stuff. Oh man, I really hope this noise complaint actually works. Apparently there's like a six day, 10 day waiting period or some shit before I can update. I guess I could just call the number, right? 311, 411, some, some shit, 911. I hear it right now. It sounds like this. Somebody murder me, please. Come on down to the sewer and murder me. I would, uh, thinking about just leaving the sewer. Could be 11 hertz. Um, I was looking up the law and shit. Um... I think they said anything over like 50 decibels from three feet away or 40 decibels. This thing is clocking 50, 54 to 58 decibels. I don't know what the fuck they're doing, but anyway. Um, yeah. So tonight, shadow people, because I think I'm seeing them more and more. I um actually went to... Uh, I went to a, a one of the legal fucking marijuana places in the city because there's none around me. All the ones around me are all this baloney, boof, garbage bullshit. I went to a place called Housing Works. And uh, I haven't been there because, A, I fucking hate going to Manhattan. And um, B, I hate trains. I'm sick of them. What am I doing in New York still? I don't know. Uh, so I finally went there and I picked up some um, some some new vape liquid. Got a, some jaunty, it's called, because it's cheap. It's the cheapest shit you could get. It's okay. I think I like, uh, I think I'm, I'm, uh, I think I'm just liking the edibles. Just like, uh, pop one a night, relax. But uh, it doesn't help with the show, I'll tell you that. Edibles in the show don't mix. So, uh, but I do like them when I'm not doing anything. You know what I mean? That's what that's what it's all about. But uh, yeah, so while I was on the train, I could have sworn I saw somebody jump off the train. I saw them like in between the cars, and then they like vanished. These shadow people are fucking with me. I think maybe maybe the government's trying to keep me awake so I could call forth these people of shadow. Maybe my brain is a portal to another shadow dimension, and they know it, so they're trying to make me go nuts and leak, leak shadow people on, upon, upon the planet or something. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Ah. But what I do know is that we have a great show for you tonight. Seeing the emails pour in right now. See the phone board lighting up. I'm not answering anything yet. So if you want to leave a voicemail, call now. If you want to talk to me, then fucking hold your horses. Just wait. Goddamn minute, okay? Just hold on. You can't talk to me yet. <coughs> but you soon will. You know, after a while. Bye, Vlad Glusklenko. Ah, boy.
Welcome back, everybody, to uh, Nick the Rat Radio. <clears throat> I've been seeing these things out of the corner of my eyes. Maybe I have brain tumors. Who the fuck knows? Um, I don't think it's that. It's, 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 this, it's the noise outside. It's getting to me. Okay? Yeah, I might seem like a nice little cute, fun rat. But you push me to the edge. And I'll email people and wait 10 days for them to do something about it. Damn it. All right, let's get to the fun stuff here. We got a uh, drinking some Yinglin lager tonight. <sniffs> Try some of this. That was a good song. Oh wow, the um, the Star Cups cap fits perfectly in a beer or a can. This is a uh, this is quite enjoyable actually. Ooh, I like I like fingering this. I, I know if you're listening to the podcast, you know I'm, I took the uh, top of the Starbucks bottle of cold, shitty sludge coffee that costs too much for sugar, and it fits perfectly on top of a can. That was that's wild. Okay. Anyway, damn it. This show is about uh, shows. The show is a very special podcast because most podcasts these days are about um, boring shit, politics and stuff. So I'm just gonna gonna mention something about politics, which has been upsetting me lately. Uh, I don't, I, don't, I try not to take sides, but man, if I hear "go woke, get broke" or some shit like that. Again, I might puke. I'm so sick of seeing that and people thinking that it's it's like cool or real or or something. Like please, if if you uh if you listen to this show, please don't use the that term anymore. Get get broke on the woke or some whatever. I don't care. Being 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 woke is being woke is a thing, I guess. I know. Uh, being being an activist is annoying. There you go. How about instead of saying "get woke, go broke," just call it, just go it, call it. Uh, activism is annoying. If you want to know more about annoying activists, you could watch the True Detective season four. <laughs> get waked and get baked. There we go. I like that one. Is activism annoying? Like, um, then again, it could be funny. I think comedians are like activists. I guess, I guess, uh, comedy is the best form of activism. Ah. Otherwise, everybody else is just, it's like annoying. Activism is annoying. Morning, spooky. Spooky, if you have any uh, shadow people stories, send them on into uh, Nick and Nick the Rat dot com. Yeah, let's see if I have any emails here. Um, got a couple. Let's... Oh, also, if you write your name in the email body, I will read it. You will be doxxed. So take that to heart there or whatever. So uh, it looks like we got one email right here. Um. Hey, Nick, this is going to sound insane, but I need to get it off my chest. A few nights back, I had the most horrifying encounter that still sends shivers down my spine. I was in bed, freshly jacked and trying to sleep. That means you work, you were working out. Um, but as I lay there in the darkness, I felt something crawl up on my chest. Trying to shake off the grogginess and come, I opened my eyes only to... It's disgusting. I opened my eyes only to see a shadowy figure perched on my face. Yes, uh, yeah, not just standing nearby, actually sitting on my face. I could see the tiny wrinkles in his exposed buttholes near 
mere millimeters above my eyes. What's worse, the shadow person was humming whistle while you work. The contrast of the whimsical tune with the sinister presence of I was kind of turning me on. I tried to... Oh, God. I tried to hum up into his asshole to see if I could stimulate him as well, but I was paralyzed and couldn't. Try to move. I tried to scream, but it felt like an invisible force was holding me down. The shadow continued its creepy serenade, and the pressure on my face intensified. It was like a surreal, wet nightmare with a twisted soundtrack. Eventually, the humming ceased, and the shadow vanished. I was, left, I was left gasping for air and licking my lips, trying to make sense of the bizarre symphony that had invaded my sleep. I don't know if this is the kind of story you're looking for, but it's real, and it's messed with my head ever since. 100% real. I'd never lie to you. You are my favorite late-night radio host. Feel free to share this on your show. If you think your listeners can handle all the cock-chilling weirdness, stay safe, AC. Well, AC, you stay safe, too. Um, in the case of this, I think, you'd, I think you handled it well. It's always good to um, um, join in, try to join in. If somebody's making music, you should always try to join into the music. You know, get on their vibe. That's like that other, the, that word's getting way too much play these days to vibe. You know, it's their vibe, man. That's just their vibe. You know, Nick the Rat's drinking a beer. This is vibe, man, you know? Now I'm starting to sound like that guy, man. Uh but this, that word needs to go with broken wokeness and shit. Um, the writer, I guess, it wasn't a caller. What is, um, what did it smell like? Did, did you smell anything? I'd be curious about that. Like, what? Does does the shadow people have like um like a certain smell like dill or something? I hate the smell of dill. Does anybody else out there hate the smell of dill? I don't, I'm, not, I'm not a dill. I'm not a dill man. I'm a ugh. Uh, also, all these. Um. Uh, I, while while I was on the train going to the city, I think I think I'm starting to notice uh the migrant influx, and it, I think they're being sponsored by, um, candy companies. I've never seen so many uh women and children and men men women and children on trains slinging candy. There was. You know, every now and then you'll see you'll see like a, like a kid for his basketball team say, "Hey man, can you buy this Hershey's so I could f like get some basketball shorts for my team or whatever." But now it's just like a whole family. Like I was trying to sleep and this this kid like must have been like four or some shit. You know, he's like candy. I was like, "Whoa." Where's your mom? And and then she came up to me and said, "Candy." She was only a little bit bigger than him. Um, like, no, I'm sorry, I'm good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So shadow people nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. Give me a call. Uh, let me know if you. Oh, had any shadow experiences, you know? Maybe, maybe this person did? Hey, it's me, Stillwater, from Surfish. I figured it out. The age-old question, what came first, the chicken or the egg? 
If you think about it logically, you know, you already know the answer. Chickens obviously descended uh, from maybe not dinosaurs, but reptiles of some sort. But way before that, even in the primordial days when there were just fish, guess what there were? They were fucking eggs. So the answer to the age-old question is, eggs came first. Get me his book. It's fucking awesome. Anyway, bye. Whatever I fucking egg, I usually come first. Yeah. Anyway, we got to let's listen to some music. We'll be back. We'll be, we're going to thank some people. Then we'll we'll open the phone lines. And we're we're going to find out more about uh, personal experiences with shadow people. Uh, we got XCon with X Nahilo. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to Nick the Rat Radio. <coughs> so, yeah. This is, this, um, the end of January is Nick the Rat, uh, what is it, like the birthday? It's the year, it's the year of the uh, rat. It's the start. I think we're on year seven or eight. I forget how it goes. Doing this, doing this a long time now. Long in the tooth. But, um, next week, next week I will not be here. We're gonna be um, a guest, a guest host. Um, 
we'll be doing it. I might be in the chat. I don't know. Depends on how I'm doing. We're, we're going to see. Um, sh shit's happening in the sewer the next two weeks. But I can't discuss it. I'm... NDAs everywhere. All I'm going to say is maybe Netflix. That's all I'm going to say. Maybe. But we can still thank people right now. Next week we're going to be uh, not thanking people because I won't be here. But two weeks from now I'll be back. Don't worry, I'll come, I'll come back. No glue trap could stop me. Uh, P.O. Box, Nick the Rat, 90549, Brooklyn, New York, 11209. You could send me stuff. I'll open it on the air. This week we got this year check or something. Might be a check. Probably a check. It's a letter. It's an envelope. It's an envelope. I know that. Count six six nine nine six six nine nine, dude, from Doctor Sir McCrotch, PhD. <clears throat> Once the para was normal here, sixty nine cents. Yeah, it should be called para unnormal. Wait, para means next to, next to normal. <coughs> What if it wasn't next to normal? What if it was far away from normal? Like uh, via far, far, mass via normal. Nah. Anyway, you could also donate by going to Nick at uh, Nick the Rat. Nick, go to NickTheRat.com. Yeah, go to NickTheRat.com. Click on donate. There's a PayPal thing majiggy there. And, uh, Hey, pal. I'll read your initials, the amount, and any notes. We have 420. That's a, uh, a suggested monthly subscription from MAC. MAC, cheers to you so much. You've been around for a long time, MAC. I don't know if you know this, but I know you know that I know that you know this. I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you're still even, you know, somewhere. But thank you, MAC. Uh, also, Nick the Rat Radio is the uh, podcasting 2.0 shindigio, and you could donate by sending Satoshis. So I was, I was looking at No Agenda Social because I can't sign up for uh, No Authority Social yet. It's not working. I don't know. So I saw somebody was mentioning that um, podcasting 2.0 only has like 1% uh, like fucking pickup or some shit. Like uh, uh, only 1% of of uh, apps actually utilize podcasting 2.0 stuff. 2.0 podcasting, it's, it's just code. It's like RSS code that just does a lot of stuff. You could, I think you even put video and shit in there now. But like the big boys, you know, like Apple Podcast or Spotify, they they they're stupid. And they suck, so they don't use it. So most of the people that are listening to podcasts don't get the benefits of podcasting 2.0. But that's on them, and it's like evolution. I don't know. This guy was complaining. I don't know why he was complaining. He was like, "Yeah, well, you know, people that uh, people that promote, people that promote the podcast 2.0 don't realize that they're they're not promoting." The, the thing they're promoting barely small, you know. It's, what? It's like saying, you know, the. It, it's like saying everybody's a everybody's a monkey. There's only two humans out there, so f fuck them. No, it's the new evolution of what podcasting is and will become. So if you're not utilizing podcasting 2.0 RSS feed stuff, then. What are you doing? It's just it's just some code. It's not even like you have to do anything. It's like why are you complaining? It's it's 
seriously, just information that's very easy. It's, it's like saying, don't fart because it doesn't work on a couple people's platforms yet. Fuck you, man. Nah, I don't, I, I don't even know if there was a fight. I don't know what was going on. I read the headlines and uh, I made an opinion. So that's about that's about all I did. Um, you can also donate by going to twitch.tv. And if you have a Prime account, you can give me a free, like, a couple bucks a month or something. You know, it's it doesn't cost you anything. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what we got here. I, I usually, for Twitch, I just read every fucking thing in the activity thing. We got uh, the Songry gave me a shout out six days ago. Thank you so much, Songry. Also a follow. We got Krulan Solas gave me a follow. Thank you. We got My Cookie followed me. Thank you. We got Silver Rotten followed. Thank you. We got Chorus B gave out one community gift sub. Wow. Chorus B gave out five community gift subs. Look at you. Look at that. I got, I got about twenty million people in the Twitch chat right now. This is this is craziness. All right. You know what? You know what? This. This is, this is big. This is big. This is so big that I'm probably going to have to play some trailers right now. So let's play some trailers. We'll be right back, and we'll have more Nick the Rat. We'll be right back, and then we'll have more. Yeah, we'll have, yeah, after this, we'll have some more um, Nick the Rat. We'll be right back. I'd like to let you know that uh, during these really, 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 really scary times, that you should uh, listen to the, the government. Just listen to the man. The man is protecting you. You know, the same man that will, you know, poison you. And uh, you can't film. Can't zoom at all. Don't worry. We're, well, I mean, uh, the, the, gov the government's got your back. So, when, you know, when the government tells you to do something, fucking make sure you do it and make sure you yell at people for not, not listening to them. You know, because, um, basically, the, the, the man... The man is the only one you should listen to. Don't listen to, um, you know, your, your common sense. Don't do that. Don't be stupid. Anyway, um, hopefully one day we'll, we'll, you know, hang out. Maybe, you know, on uh, Zoom or, or Skype. Inside Nazi Germany. This is Medical Camp 9. For these women, there is no hope, no escape. For them, there is only pain. And Ilsa, she wolf of the SS. <laughs> Oh, 
call yourselves men? I see no manhood between your legs. For some, there was death. Slow. <coughs> Brutal. <coughs> For others, the chosen few, there was only Elsa, she-wolf of the SS. in the Third Reich. None was as ruthless as Ilsa, she-wolf of the SS. It's 50 minutes now, Wayne Commodore. Together with her black widows, she committed crimes so terrible even the SS feared her. There's but one way. forget the terror of Medical Camp 9. forget its beautiful commandant, the bloody butcher the Nazis called Ilsa, she-wolf of the SS. I am Hitler. Because of the shocking nature of many scenes in this film, it is definitely not recommended for the squeamish or easily offended.
Hey, everybody. Uh, we're about to open up the phone lines. Let me see if I could open the phone lines here. Uh, boom. Phone lines are open. 917-719-5923. If you have a shadow person story, experience, or if you just want to talk about shadows or people, something like that. Give me a... Yeah, either way. Uh, <coughs> Ooh. Like this person, uh, here's a here's a voicemail. Shit. Okay, this is the bike again part. What man? Is this four or five? Fuck. Anyways, he uh, he said you. I I I would have made it last time, but my finger slipped off the throttle, and right at the end, I didn't have enough ump just to get right over the edge. And uh. One of the old guys in the back says, I've seen him done it. I've seen him do it before. And so, uh, Kevin says, uh, well, yeah, I said, he said, brother, if I can't jump that damn bike over this building, I'll suck your dick in front of all these people. And I fight the bar starts Can laughing. I? You said, you're going to suck my dick, huh? You what? can't, if you break my, <laughs> he, said, he says, so if you break another one of my motorcycles, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to beat you half to death, and then I'm going to make you suck my dick. Ted Boss says, hell, I suck everybody's dick in this fucking bar. If I can't jump that goddamn motorcycle over this here bar. <laughs> <laughs> so they get all the money up, and that guy in the back, he's making, he's got a bunch of bets. And this time, uh, they got that, that same ramp still out there from before. They ain't picked it up. So Kevbot, they give him, they give him kind of a, Kevbot, they give him kind of a shitty motorcycle. So Kevbot said, no, give me one of them good ones. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make it. I need some power. So uh, Kevbot <laughs> gets on that motorcycle, boy, and he takes off down the road and he comes back. Oh, he's done to this time. He got his fucking thumb on there. Good boy. And so, oh, here he comes, coming, screaming. Here he comes. And then right, right at the end, right for right then, right at the end, something happens, and uh, the motorcycle goes out of gear right before it hits the ramp, and it just barely don't have enough power to get over the building, and the motorcycle just crashes into the building again, just and Kebbot lands on top of the roof and <laughs> totally destroys that motorcycle again. Kev bot, you know, kind of slightly unfazed, comes down off the roof and he says, oh, shit, fellas, I'm sorry. And uh, that guy said, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kev bot, you got some pay up and pay, you got some, uh, you got some pay up to do that, fella. <clears throat> so they commenced to, uh, he just asked a little bit, not too rough, uh, a little bit. What? The, what? All right. Looks like we got a email here. One short. Too much diphenhydrimin. Too much diphenhydramine. Di -diphen diphenhydramine. There you go. I got it. You can't outword me. DPH Benadryl. Then don't let yourself fall asleep. You'll see them too. Do you? They're there, man. You know what freaks me out a little bit more than uh, even shadow people? I think, uh, you, ever, you, ever, you ever wonder about like electrons? Do you think maybe electrons are, are like alive? And we're like enslaving them and killing them. We're we're doing like a mass murder of electrons. And like electrons might be like universes or galaxies or fucking who the fuck knows. And we're just we're zapping them up. So we could like see titties on the internet or something. It's uh something I think about sometimes. Not too much. Sometimes. Um
Yeah, let's see if there's any other emails here. Uh, looks like we got one more email that just came in. Um, Dear Rat, I hope this message finds you well. I've been an avid listener of your paranormal radio show for quite some time. Well, thank you. Uh, and your request for shadow people encounters prompted me to share an experience that has haunted me since it occurred. I mean, some of these emails are a little long-winded here. If you, you could just get straight to the point, you don't have to like, you don't have to go through all this. Like, I'm sorry that I'm talking. But like, if if you email, okay, you know, I'll, I'll I'll I won't be mean. Okay, I won't be mean. But that's a you didn't need to write any of that. You could have just got right into the the meat. <clears throat> they continue. Um, I was not under the influence of any drugs. All right, that's good to know. Uh, about six months ago, I had an unnerving encounter with a shadow entity that I still struggled to explain. It was a chilly night, and I had just finished watching a documentary about paranormal phenomena, never expecting that I would become part of the narrative. I promise I was not on any drugs at all that night, okay? Uh, as I lay in bed, trying to shake off this eerie feeling from the documentary, I noticed a looming shadow in the corner of my room. At first, I dismissed it as a trick of the dim light or my imagination playing tricks on me. However, the shadow seemed to grow darker and more defined, taking on a humanoid shape. Even if my mom found drugs in my room that night, I was not on any drugs. Okay, I get the point. Jeez. Uh, the room felt uh, charged with an inexplicable energy, and I couldn't move. I could see no facial features, just an ominous, ominous silhouette that seemed to absorb what little light was in the room. The air grew heavy and a sense of dread washed over me. I tried to speak, but my voice felt paralyzed. This is all 100% true. It happened at 9 p.m. when I was supposed to be at home in my room, not doing drugs like my mom ordered me to. Okay. Uh, the shadowy figure moved slowly towards me, and as it did, I felt an overwhelming sense of malviolence mal malvolence malvolence mal malvolence whatever i don't know uh it was as if the very essence of fear have had materialized before me i closed my eyes desperately hoping it was a dream but when i opened them again it was still there inches away from me this is a long email. Jeez. It was very close to the spot where my mom might have found something that was drugs, but they were not mine, as I do not ever do drugs. Suddenly, the room returned to normal, and the shadow dissipated as quickly as it appeared. I was left shaken, drenched in a cold sweat, trying to make sense of what just had transpired. I felt like I was really high on drugs or something, but I most definitely was not, even though my eyes looked red and I smelled like weed. I've never been one to believe in the supernatural, but that night changed something within me. It felt like a brush with the realm beyond our understanding, leaving me with more questions than answers. Your show has been a source of comfort in knowing that I'm not alone in these experiences. Well, there you go. That's what we're here to do. We're here to share experiences with each other and uh, expand culture and reality. Feel free to share my story on your radio show if you find it fitting. Perhaps someone else has encountered something similar and can shed light on the mysteries of these shadow entities. Thank you for providing a platform for us to share our paranormal encounters. No problem. <coughs> and if you can... Please call my mother and tell her I do not do drugs. 514. Okay, I'm not going to read that. Uh, sincerely, not hide, damn it. Okay. Well, that was a very enlightening. Um, it's good to know you're not on any drugs, and um, I'll call your mother... A little bit later, maybe after the show, after I have some beers in me, you know. I hope she's up. I got something to tell her. I'm gonna tell her it's midnight in the sewer. Holy shit, it's midnight in the sewer, everybody. It is now Thursday morning. It was Wednesday night. 
it's weird how that happens, huh? Uh, if you would, if you would like to uh, email me a story, it is nick at nicktherat.com. I'm open to read anything, apparently, even if it's long, apparently. Ugh. I think my nose is all clogged up. All right, let's uh, let's listen to another song over here, and we're gonna get back to it very soon. Don't you know it? This is G91 with Magic Moments. weird edit uh hi everybody welcome back uh if you like any of the music you hear tonight go to soundcloud slash like slash nick the rat it's all there you could go also go to nick the rat.com click on social i think it's listed there as well all the music is cc by 3.0 go thank the artist and say thank you for giving me the music that you have made and made it free so i could use it as well now that is what culture is all about Nick, that last track was rocking. I want to be like you when I grow up, Nick. I love you, Nick. I have a secret crush on you, Nick. Will you call the police? All right. Speaking of, speaking of culture and stuff, there's a a new video game making making everybody go nuts lately, called uh, Pal World. I fucking hate that name. That's why I will not play it because of the name. 
only. Also, I'm sick of survival games. I really don't want to beat up a rock and a tree for about 30 minutes to make a house. That's it's not what I like to do with my time. The, the game doesn't look horrible, though, especially if you like Pokemon. It's basically um, a survival game that looks pretty good. It's in the Unreal Engine, and um, you, get, you get these little Pokemon creatures. They're called pals, though. And you could, like, kill them or shoot them and fucking throw them around and make you do make them do work. And you can make them eat themselves. I, I think there's self-cannibalism. You'd be like, hey, Pikachu, eat, eat your own ass. And then he would kill himself and eat himself. And this game's got everybody fucking going nuts right now. It's got a bunch of, of the, the autistic Pokemon fans saying, hey, this is... They're stealing, they're stealing the work. They... They've robbed Pokemon, even though Pokemon has robbed other people. It's just art. There's evolution. People get so fucking their panties get so stinky when 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 somebody like tries to copy them. I remember when I was like you know a little like, like a baby, and like if I did something cool like fart with my hands or something, and then somebody else farted with their hands, it's like hey man, that was. That was my move. Don't, don't you, don't you fart with your hands. I do that. You can't do that. I do that. Also, get away from me, you know? But I, I, I grew up, I think, and now if I fart with my hands and other people do, I'm like, fuck yeah, I started a revolution. So these, um, everybody, all these, all these uh, people are all upset. They're like, "Oh fuck! It's they're stealing. They're gonna get sued by fucking Nintendo," which they wouldn't surprise me really. Nintendo sues a lot of people, but they can't sue over this because it's they, it's called pal pal fucking world. It's not called monster pocket or pokey in the fucking monster. There's no way somebody is going to get confused and think that this game is Pokemon. So it's got everybody freaking out. And then it's got not only the autistic Pokemon fans freaking out because fucking Pokemon can't make a good game anymore. You know how much money those motherfuckers have? And and all they make is garbage? Each, each new Pokemon game just get worse and worse. Let's make a gosh darn open world beautiful game, you idiots. Um, then, um, then the de there's developers getting fucking mad. There's developers that are like, "Oh, I think they used, I think they used AI. The they're reusing assets. The, the, something about this is fishy. It's uh, it's because it has over." It's got like a million people playing that shit right now. It's it's like one of the biggest games currently. It's everybody's playing that shit. They got they got a lot of money the company now. And they probably did use AI. Who gives a shit? People are complaining about people using tools. It's like, hey, if if I open a a, a fucking garage to work on cars and and I have a tire spinner, but you don't have a tire spinner. Are you really going to be like, oh, he, he uses uh, he uses machines to to rotate the tires, and I have to do it to do it by hand? You guys, an asshole. It's like, just it's a tool. Use the tool. You don't be a tool. Use the tool. That's what they're there for. So yeah, everybody's all freaking out about that shit. It's it's pretty funny. But um, I have no desire to play this game. I have friends that play it. Looks okay, but I don't like I don't like Pokemon. Fuck that shit. I don't play that crap anyway. Um, what? I think we got another note here. Hold on one second. Just came in. Uh, dear Nick, 
I've never been one to believe in the supernatural until a few weeks ago. One night, something that happened left me paralyzed with fear. In the darkness of my room, a dense shadow materialized, its form vaguely human, wearing a fedora, exuded malviolence. Is this... Are people putting that word in there because I can't say it? I couldn't move. Trapped in its black void of, of a gaze, no features, just a black void, it had me locked. As it inched closer, a suffocating dread enveloped me. I felt like I was at my local BDSM club, but I was still just in my room. I tried to scream, but silence forced itself into my throat. Abruptly, it vanished, leaving me petrified and gagging. Never thought I'd share a story like this, but your show compelled me to. The paranormal's real, and it lurks in the shadows. Best, Latex Larry. Okay, well, Larry, there there you go. Some of these... uh, Some of these entities, these dark forces, are trying to force themselves into you. It's right into your face hole. There's not much you could do about it once they're all up in there and you can't move. It's... Maybe Bill Cosby was a shadow person. If you think about it, the stars kind of align. But... But this is Nick the Rat Radio. And on Nick the Rat Radio, we don't folk around. By tracks a door. Fiddles and flutes, baby. Shit's nice. Um, 
That last email got me thinking. What if, what if there was mixing of uh, experiences? Was it was it called? Um, what if you had sleep paralysis and a wet dream combined? Would that be good or would it be torture? Can't move. You got a stiffy. I don't know what part of the wet dream you're at when you have the sleep paralysis come in, but but if you got the stiffy going on and you can't move, that's kind of torturous because you can't you can't move your hands or grab the pillow or anything like that. You just, uh, but I guess it would only be torturous. Sleep paralysis mixed with anything is torture. Because even if it, you were at the good part of the, the wet dream, where you were like, just, you're at that, the O, the O part, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. This is a child, this is a children's show. So I can't, I can't say the words. All right, say you're in bed and, and you're, you're jizzing like crazy because you're, you're sleeping, you're having a wet dream. Just, ah! And then the sleep paralysis kicks in. And you're just having like the the like a never ending orgasm. As great as that sound, I'm sure it gets bad after a while. Can't be good. I want I want to take a little little break right now just to say uh, rest in peace to Soval on the Star Trek Enterprise, the Vulcan there. Um what was his name? Uh Hold on, where's my notes? I only know him as Soval. He was a, he was a pretty good Vulcan. First he started off like as a big asshole, and then uh then people then then he kind of became nicer. He he was like 70 years old or something. It's uh let me let me get his name. It's so there it is. Gary Graham. He was only 70. 70 seems pretty young. 73. What ha what happened to him? Uh it, it doesn't really say what happened to him. But um, you know, I guess that's fine. Maybe uh maybe somebody in Pal World killed him or something. That's that's horrible. Um let's just uh let's see if we got any more anybody on the phone line. Anybody on 917-719-5923. Is anybody there? Hello, hello, hello. If my nose was blown and my ears were bread, my head would be a sandwich. I had lemons and I would squeeze them all over my body. I would be lemonade. I had roller skates attached to my feet permanently. Would I be a downy? Simple. Answer to your question is yes. Hard answer to your question would be fuck yeah. I don't. I don't know. Caller, I'm sorry about not having an answer for you. What is this? Somebody sent me a news article. New York's hottest new party scene is in 185-degree co-ed sauna. What? What is this? New Yorkers are flocking to a massive dry co-ed sauna inside the Lou New Bathhouse Flatiron. That's disgusting. I would not want to... Be sweating in a room filled with naked people. Well, they're not even naked. That's, I, I don't. I don't get that. Uh, maybe there's something to these uh, saunas. 
But if the sauna's not like at my friend's house, I'm not going to go pay to go sit in a room full of strangers. Just, just seems a little bit weird. But that might just be me. Maybe I just got some, uh, I got to stick up my ass. Maybe that's it. That's, prob- that's probably it. I'm just, uh, I'm no fun, okay? Nick the Rat is no fun. You will not see me at a public sauna. So stop sending me those weird articles. Send me more pictures, though. Uh, is this another? We got another uh, Another call just came in, but I missed it. Let's see. Is this a shadow person? I don't know what that was, but I want all of it by Edan. Okay, one more time. All right, cut that shit out. Quit talking and quit, quit playing, please, sir. Quit it, sir. Quit that shit, man. I'm going to fucking try to play this, uh, show you how to play a, vo- a funny voice. No, here we go. This is how it, shut up, man. For real this time. This is how you do it, kid. Here we go. <clears throat> Action. From the makers of clock socks, the socks made of wristwatch that fit on time every time, we bring you Mayo Tard. The mustard, the, the mayonnaise flavored mustard. Are you a 
neurotic podcast host who maybe over likes mayonnaise. Do you often get ridiculed for only eating mayonnaise and using mayonnaise for mustard? Do you want the benefits of mustard, but the taste of mayonnaise? Well, now introducing mayo tart. The mustard that tastes like mayonnaise. Now, sir, you can scurry up from your sewers and go to the hot dog vendor confidently and say, I would like one hot dog, sir. And when he says, would you like mustard on that? You'll say, no, I have brought my own mustard. When really, it's really mayo tart. The mustard that is... Tastes like mayonnaise. Now on with the rest of the show. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't know what the fuck that was. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Nick the Right Radio. We are uh, delving deep into dark crevices of the shadow people. It's a... Uh, there's got to be some weird connection between relativity and dreams. I was, I, was trying to, I was trying to find a way that they're connected, but I couldn't do it. I couldn't figure it out. There's got to be something, though, because... Um, there's the, everything is relative to you. Now your dreams, they might be relative to you, but there's still something that connects them to other ones. Like even though we are all experiencing life a little bit differently because we're all in different places at different times, a little bit because nobody could be nobody could be you right now. Like you're you're a, you're a big old bag of possibilities. And your dreams seem like a way to bring you back down or something that actually connects you to other people. Maybe these shadow people are, are messengers from you. Like you're trying to communicate with yourself. A different part. Either way. Oh, wow. Look at this. There's a there's a moon reader in the chat. How how'd you do that? What is what is exclamation W A? The nearest full moon is Thursday, January twenty fifth. Wolf moon. Twelve hours, twenty six minutes, and thirteen seconds in the future. Holy cra wolf rim alpha? That, that actually works. Uh, what's a hot dog? Let's see. Does Wolfram Alfred do what's a hot dog? I guess not. Wait. Hot dog. Amount. One hot dog. Holy shit. Holy. That was more information about a hot dog I could ever imagine getting. Let's see. Wolfram Alpha Shadow People. Shadow movie, cast and roll. I don't want to... Okay. Well, you know, it's not perfect. But yeah, if you want to mess with a Wolfram Alphabot, just hop on into hashtag sewer chat on the zero void zero uh, zero node. Cheers. Exclamation. Hashtag sewer chat exclamation WA. Yeah. Let me check the uh, the old mailbox here. Looks like we have some more. A lot of emails coming in now. Whoa. Something must have just happened. Um, Dear Nick, I hesitated to share this story, but your call for shadow people encounters convinced me it's time. I now have a duty and I need to share it. <laughs> he said duty. Uh, a month ago, I had a surreal and unnerving 
unnerving experience that defied explanation. I even spoke to my priest about it, and he tossed me out of church over it. Wow. Powerful. Um, Late at night, did he like overhand or underhand? Uh, Late at night, a dark figure materialized in my room. The usual dread accompanied its presence, like when you see your priest taking out the big strap on. What followed is is inexplainable. As the shadow approached, an unsettling odor permitted from it? Permitted? Permitted from it? Permitted permitted the air? What the hell is permitted? That's a word? Hold on. Let's... I gotta find out what permitted is. Permeated. I'm an idiot. Anyway. I couldn't believe it. But it seemed as though the shadow person had farted. The room echoed with an otherworldly scent, adding an absurd layer to an already terrifying situation. I was paralyzed, torn between fear and disbelief, and the shadow soon dissipated just like a fart, leaving me bewildered and questioning my sanity. Feel free to share this on your show, but if you do, you better send me 20 money. Sincerely, cheap lad. Okay. I see. I also see another voicemail. Biker Gang Joke, Part 5. Oh, God, no. So they beat up Kev Biden. They put him inside the bar. And uh, they didn't beat him up too bad. So he couldn't suck dick. And Kev Biden lined them all up and started... Sucking all them biker dicks all at once. And uh, with the great cheers of all the people involved and all the women folk, <clears throat> they had a good time. And uh, when it was all said and done, Kilbert uh, cleaned up the mess that was upon his person and reached out into the Starry night here. Yeah, that next uh, weekend, everybody said, What's that? I'm going to think I'll go down to that bar again this time and see what's going on there. So, everybody uh, moses on down to the biker bar again and opens up the door and looks around, got a big old smile on his face. And yeah, people come shocked. Boy, this guy, there's something else. <laughs> Coming in here for a third time. <laughs> Cabot walks up to the bar and uh, says the bartender, Look, buy drinks on me, everybody. Everybody get a drink on me. And all the bikers. Kevbot, you old son of a rascal. You in here again, fella. Thanks for the beer, and uh, let me buy you a beer, sir. Yeah, everybody says, come on, Kevbot, let us buy you a beer. God damn. Says, no, no. How about you put that money with you? That money out right down on the table right there. I bet you all that money, I'll take one of them bikes out there yonder and jump it over this here bar. Yes, sir. An old fella in the back is saying, I got 15 to 1 on that odds. <laughs> and uh, the back of the bar said, uh, any of you boys want to let this fucker in the fucker use one of your bikes to do that? <clears throat> I'm sorry I made you suffer hey, through uh, that. Let me go, boy. Um, let me go, boy. So, yeah, I might. Uh, it's not over yet, apparently. I might. <laughs> uh, here's a little news article about shadow people. This was uh, from August. I'm going to read it to you right now. Can I maybe, uh, what does this do? 
Does this, uh, does this change anything? Not really. What is it? Uh, what the heck? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? Hi, 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 hi. Hello? Hello, hello. Hello? Is it me you're looking for? I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do it. I don't know if I... or... Hello? Hi. Okay, well... Never mind. Okay, look, fuck, stop. We're just gonna read it to you normal. A Colorado elementary school teacher who survived being stabbed 16 times by her ex-boyfriend. I, I don't think it would be her current boyfriend. If you're, if, you, if you're being stabbed by somebody, I don't think you're dating anymore. Claims she had seen shadow people since the horrifying attack in 2020. Elish Poe, 25, made the ghostly revelation last month during five-episode run on the Otherworldly Podcast. Go check it out. I hear they're, they're, they're a cool pod on Pod 2.0. I don't know. Uh, the Texas natives swear she saw three crystal clear ghosts of people who died in her lifetime and insist one even helped her reach her phone to call for help as the assault unfolded. Poe says she was ambushed in her own home by some asshole named Jonathan Asshole, who's 25. After she turned down his efforts to be more than a summer fling, she was like, nah, fuck you, and then he stabbed her a whole bunch. Jesus. What's wrong with people? Um, the spurned lover reportedly snuck into Poe's home and waited in a crawl space for 26 hours. What a psychopath. She said she went to check on her pet bunny, Boomer, when Crossley charged at her. He then pushed her down the stairs, and she hit her back, and then she still had injuries from trauma and all that shit. And then, then he grabbed her by the back of her head, and then he shoved her head into the wall a few times. What is this? This is a... I hope this guy has been killed or something. Um... Poe remembers seeing a carousel of people in the bathroom doorway two feet from where she was lying in a pool of blood. Jeez. Were these shadow people, were they angels? Were they trying to help her? Like, hey, it's okay, you're getting your, your ass kicked right now. We're here for you. Uh, or it's third man syndrome. That's also a thing, too. Uh, my paternal grandmother was standing right there, Poe explained, of grandmother Jeannie, whom she didn't say goodbye to. She passed away in 2014. Hey, you know what? Maybe... Maybe this guy almost killing her was a good thing. She got to see her grandmother one more time. No, this this is horrible. Can't can't believe that happened to her. Um, I'm not going to read the rest of this story. It goes on from there. She saw some shadow people. Sometimes trauma brings out shadow people. Sometimes sleep paralysis brings it out. Sometimes uh, having insomnia seems to bring it out. Um, drugs. Um strap-ons i don't know let uh, you know i watched an old romance movie movie last night by roxy lao
Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Nick the Rat Radio. Nick the, Nick the Rat Radio. There might be shadow people in the broom closet. Be careful. They're looking. Uh, we got um, We just got another email here. Hold on. Let me uh, open this one up. Uh, yo, Nick, I've been grappling with a bizarre encounter that occurred during a bout of sleep paralysis, and I felt I needed to share it with you. Yeah, it seems like a lot of people get from uh, the sleep the sleep uh, paralysis symptoms. Uh, in the midst of a sleep in a in the midst of a paralyzed state, I found myself face to face with a shadowy figure that defied the norms of reality. The shadow person wasn't with content with merely haunting my surroundings. It began rearranging my furniture. Yes, you read that correctly. How do you know I read that correctly? Did you write this email in the future? And watch the show, then go back in time? And then write it again or something? Either way. Uh, unable to move or speak, I watched in bewildered horror as the shadow entity. I like that word, entity. Maybe it's because it's got a titty in there. Uh, rearranged my room with the efficiency of a Chinaman. What the? Is that racist? Maybe I'll bleep that out. Uh, it, would, it wouldn't stop as if redecorating my space was its otherworldly mission. As if my dead mother hired a ghost maid to clean up my room, the absurdity of the situation somehow intensified the fear. When I finally snapped out of the sleep paralysis, my room was back to its normal state. All my waifus were back in their cum jars. Oh, God. Uh, the, the entire episode left me questioning the boundaries between dreams and reality. Feel free to share this odd tale with your show, and maybe someone else has encountered a sh shadow interior decorator in the realm of sleep paralysis. Also, I'm down to do cum jar swaps. Hit me up. Jake from Cum Farm. Very funny, Jake. That email left a bad taste in my mouth. Let's see. We got a lot more emails here, but we can't go through all of them. So if you didn't get your email read tonight on tonight's show, I'm sorry. Maybe the next time I do a shadow person uh, show, I'll read it then. That's why it's good that you put shadow person in the subject line so I could do a search for it in, in the future show. Um, hold on one second. Come dump a shadow man. Um, hey, Nick the Rat Radio. I hope this message finds you. I've been listening to your show for a while, and I think what happened to me might have caused a caused by a sewer scientist. I I can't NDA. Uh, so a few weeks back, I was crashing at my girlfriend's after a late night hot dog eating binge. The atmosphere was heavy, but I chalked it up to the hot dog farts. That was until I noticed these strange shadowy figures forming holes in, my, in the ceiling. Yeah, holes. Not your regular bumps or cracks. Literal black voids. As I stared in disbelief, these voids started dripping what can only do, be described as mayo. Mayo of all things. Thick, gloopy, and unnaturally white. It wasn't water or some ooze, it was mayo, dripping from the shadows in random patterns. Now, I'm no stranger to weird happenings, but this one had me questioning everything. I couldn't move, couldn't scream, classic sleep paralysis, right? But mayo dripping shadows? That's a whole, haha, new level of strange. When I finally snapped out of it, my ceiling was intact, but something was left behind other than the smell of hot dog gas. I was covered in mayo, dripping down off my nipples. It filled my belly button to the rim. And not only that, something was written in the mayo on my chest. 
it was your number, 917-719-5923. Hey, look at that. That's cool. A little. Um, did you have something to do with this? No, I did not. I did not. I. Okay, look. Wasn't me. Mayo on your chest? It wasn't me. Black hole voids in your ceiling? It wasn't me. Hot dog gas? Might have been me, but that's legal. Uh, was it a shadow person who was a fan of your show? Or one of the scientists working on a Mayo portal gun, perhaps? That's a good, um, good theory. If there was a Mayo portal gun, I probably played with it sometimes and maybe had some fun with it, but that's only if there was one, but there's not one, okay? Because that would be really fucking cool. And it would be really fun to play with, which it was. But either way, uh, they rate, take care, Gordon Hellman. All right, well, good night, Gordon Hellman. Thank you for the story. Thank you for the everlasting love by Jansun.
Well, there you go, everybody. This episode is, whoa. It's just beginning, I think. Look at this. We got we got about 10 people on the phone line. Let's say, uh, hello, caller. Are you there? Yeah. Yeah, Nick. Hi. How you doing? Caller, I'm doing... I don't know. I, I've been having insomnia from this noise outside. There's been a whole bunch of changes, and and people are going woke and broke, and I'm just not vibing. I hear you. I hear you. The shadow people, right? Shadow people. Yeah, we're talking about shadow people tonight. Do you have a? Do you have, a, yeah. do you have any information? Well, yeah. I mean, um, I. We talked before, and I we established that uh, the shadow people will have me harvest souls. I don't know if you remember that. They're soul harvesters, huh? Well, they have me harvest souls. You know, they have me do a lot of killings for them. And like, uh, yeah. well, they they used to, um, but uh, now it's a lot of uh, planning mayo truck heists. It's it's weird. It's uh, it, it's out of control, Nick. The you know what the worst part of the the shadow realm is, Nick, is that they still take the form of people. Uh, well, that and the shadow government. The shadow shadow yeah. taxes. Oh my shadow banking. Yeah, even know what shadow banking is. Yeah. It's they probably probably something about imaginary numbers. No, you'd think it it would be, but it's actually uh, it's uh, when you do any kind of uh, money changing without a traditional finance involved. Like a, a regular FDIC bank or uh, any of uh, the other uh, European or Asian institutions. That, what does uh, FDIC regular, stand for? I I always just always. I don't want deposit insurance company. I don't want to f dick. Is there an the FPUS? Uh, there's a there's a FMIS. Hmm. Might yeah. have to, I might have to invest there. Yeah, and it's got a lot to do with mayo as well. But, you know, the, the first time I smoked PCP is when I met my first shadow people. You've, you've and, smoked uh, PCP? Well, not. I wasn't planning on it, but uh, the shadow people have their ways and they have their agents abroad. Like I said, they got me harvesting souls and they have others out there uh, dipping cigarettes and, and uh, or, or dipping weed, uh, uh, PCP or, or formaldehyde, calling it love boat. And when you're on a corner in New York City at Washington Square Park, it's 1992, and somebody says he wants some love boat. It's the best high you'll ever have. And you see that trashy brown weed, and you go, yeah, I'll take $10 worth. Those people were recruiters for the shadow people. Hmm. Yeah. They, they put a name like Love Boat on there, but it's really, you know, it, it, it should be called a vessel in mayo. Do you know how many you know? shadow pyramids there probably are? Like pyramid schemes uh, and like uh, people working for people? There's probably a whole bunch of stuff that we don't know about that's happening right now. There are quite a few shadow organizations in the shadow realm that the shadow government is established. You know, the shadow government, they're what really runs everything. All this bullshit and hoopla that we're all distracted with has nothing to do with reality. It's what the shadow. That's probably why it doesn't make any so. sense to me. Yeah. I, everything is. Yeah. Every, everything is everything weird. Everything is just. 
is all just a distraction from what the, the shadow realm is doing with their shadow government. So they're harvesting souls? Are they? Are they? So it's not gold. It has nothing to do with like material stuff. Oh, it's well, no. Nah, they they uh. I guess uh, when people are murdered unexpectedly, especially like when you stock them down and put a bag over their head and beat them to death, and they're they don't know why, it it creates a, a where their essence is kind of uh, stamped in between two dimensions, and that's how a shadow person's created a violent, unexpected death Ooh. to an innocent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, they got to get their poll numbers up, you know, and and now that that was my primary mission for the, the shadow people, and now it's a lot of uh, we're going to sit outside of Hellman's and hijack this mayo truck. I'm not. I'm not really scared. I'm not really scared or worried about the shadow people. Are you scared about these people? Have you? You met them before, right? I, I was at first. Uh, when when the first time I ever saw a shadow person, I was scared shitless. I have to admit, you know. Um, but then once I could understand they chose me to harvest souls and they weren't trying to harvest my soul. Well, you're, you're was, full of soul. I, you, you're, you have, you're, you're oozing soul. Call her. Yeah. Well, well now I'm oozing mayo. It, it's the whole thing. I, that, that's, that's why I thought I'd call in and let you know that the shadow realm and the shadow government have a lot to do with the great mayo shortage. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Everybody else thought it was eggs, but now, now it's, uh, they're, they're hijacking, they're boosting these trucks. Just like I used to boost souls, they're boosting, well, now we're boosting trucks. Which, uh, um, <laughs> it, it, it's not as fun as it used to be, you know. Um, do you, do you think do you think chickens have dreams? Uh, well, that's a good question. I um I don't know if chickens do, but I'm positive cocks do. Huh. I was, you know. Did, did you do you know you could hypnotize a chicken? By I have, I have seen that done before. And it lasts yeah. a long time. I think these, I think chickens might be uh, shadow agents. Like oh, physical. They, they, they definitely have a lot to do with mayo. Yeah. There's a yeah. connection here. There's definitely some weird connection with chickens, mayo, shadow people. I'm trying to put yeah, it together. Well, a lot of it has to do with the amount of sleep you get. Chickens are agents in the shadow people, or at least roosters are. You know, they start screaming well before any reasonable person would want to be out of bed. You know? So even if you're trying to get a healthy amount of sleep, if you're anywhere near a rooster, they're just like, get the fuck up! Oh, you know, yeah, that's so. roosters in the sewer. Do you, yeah. Do you, have, do you have any cures yeah. for insomnia? Um, heroin. All right. That'll That's help good. you nap. Yeah, fentanyl works good too. Mm. And then, uh, back in the day, man, uh, when we were kids, and this went well with PCP, uh, we do these pills called Somas. <laughs> you, you take two Somas and you, you and your buddy pass back and forth a pint of Jim Beam and slug, 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 slug. <laughs> and, uh, you know, then you like ride your bicycles off a cliff, you know. It was the best. Holy smoke! Huh. But uh, they called it the somatoma. You know, it was a great party till it was over. Just, because I'll... the lights would shut out, and we had no idea where you were. You know, to go on the dark web, maybe contact a shadow person, give me some of these Thelma Wellness.
Thelma coma. Thelma coma. Thelma coma. Yeah. That, that used to be the, the uh, what well, we, we would call it a little snack, a snickety snack. Thelma coma, snickety snack. Half a pint of Jim Beam and uh, half a half a roach of a uh, love boat for two people. The shadow people can come into your body at that point. Have you ever been possessed by a shadow people? No, I that's have what's not. Going on with, I've seen shadow that, people. That's, that's what's going on with all them people jerking off on the trains. Hmm. They're, they're possessed by shadow people. I was jerking off on the train today and I didn't know why. Uh, that's what, yeah. They were seeking your mayo. Can you um, come with me to a court appearance that I have? Uh, so I may be able to, but I might be able to get a, a, you a shadow lawyer. Yeah, that I'm might be more with helpful than me. Cause... I mean, technically, I'm a bit of a fugitive. Um. I got a court you know, date they, coming up about something about the train, and uh, it wasn't me though. I told I told the police officer that that was mayonnaise that he slipped in, and I was possessed. Okay, that, that sounds like it checks out. But yeah, I might be in jail for a while. Hmm. Well, you might get some sleep in there. That's all true. Over. <laughs> Uh, the rape, rape screams keep very worse and worse. That's a good point. Uh, I'm going to rape you. That's, uh, I mean, uh, oh, oh, stop. Both, both of those, you know, can keep you up pretty late. Call in jail. I think, um, I think I'm going to be uh, closing down the sewer. I see there's a, there's a, some, some homeless people coming down here. Um, would, is there anything you would like to say to the people of the internet? Well, there is. If you're not harvesting souls, you're not doing your part. You're a, Are you a shadow person? Maybe. Whoa. I've learned so much tonight about the plight of the shadow people that even though I'm going to be missing next week, I don't know who's hosting, but we're going to find out next week. I'll be back because I need to learn more. I love learning, Con connecting, spreading, and masturbating on the train. Trust me, I'll never do it again. Sergey Masterov. We'll be back next week, everybody. I love you. Bye.
I'm with you, time stands still. Hurry, darling, this is our night. This is our night. This is our night. This is our night. I can't wake up. <laughs> 